Hey guys, Kev here, and I have a really cool video to do for you. So these are the Kvist Blade Works Variant PE2s. So here's the box for one. See right there, this one is uh, the PE2 JG10 with blacked out blade. That's this one. Um, and Jacob was super kind enough to send me all four. So basically he sent them for photography because... He did the pre-order through his website and Urban EC Supply. And um, then they came to me so I could check them out. And then I'm sending one back to him. And then these three I'm sending around as a pass around with uh, some YouTube channels. So he can get some exposure on it. The pre-order runs through May 6th, uh, which is cool. Hopefully this video goes up before then. And you guys have a chance to pick one up. Um, I will make sure it goes up by then. Um, let me grab a sip of my iced tea. And I've done a full review on the PE before. This is my production edition variant, the PE. Uh, Jacob did a custom fat carbon scales um, at some point. I think it was early this year. And um, I bought a set of... Mar Actually, he gave them to me. I was going to buy them. But then he made this little mistake here in the counter bore or whatever, and um, he wouldn't let me buy them. So. And he also made them lefty for me, which is really cool of him. Um, but anyway, this is the OG PE, and you can see, let me grab a set one. You can see the differences. There's a front flipper tab over here, right? And then the only other real difference is that the lock bar, you can barely see it there comes out a little further on the PE2, so you get a little more access. And that was really my main gripe with the PE when I got it. Um, it's definitely better on this. It's still not like my favorite access, right? I'm still kind of using the corner of my thumb, but it definitely is better. So um, got to give him a credit for that. And then, of course, you have the front flipper, which, again... Um, works fantastically. So let me put the two, uh, the PE away and we can go through the versions and talk about the, um, the knife. Okay. So first one here we have is all tie scales, um, has obviously standoffs that I'm guessing are steel. And then you have a, uh, black washed blade. This is in 14 C 28 N. Um, these in the titanium are up for pre-order for $89, which I think is insanity. Um, but it's awesome, right? So $89 and then the non-titanium ones, I believe are 59. So, um, very good pricing on these. Um, you will note there's no milling in here and there are steel liners in the scale. So this titanium does have a bit of heft to it. Um, it's not like heavy, but it's definitely got some weight. So let me compare it here to... They're about the same size, right? Uh, this has some milling in it. This is the Nimble Intanto. I think it might be ever so slightly heavier um, than the Nimble. Let me grab an OG here. Yeah, just ever so slightly heavier. So again, hopefully that helps demonstrate it's not heavy. It's just got a little heft to it. And a lot of people like that. Um, I'm not really one of them, but it's not enough weight to bug me or anything. And it's a small enough package that it's just going to tuck away. And you'll just get used to it. You know what I mean? Um, but I did want to point that out. I love the black hardware um, against the titanium. The contrast is just fantastic with the black wash. I pre-ordered this version. Um, so I'm excited to get it. You can finger flick it. Um, you can do the, the front flipper. And I will say, if anybody is like me, you'll look at this flipper tab and you'll be like, Ooh, I don't know. That looks like it might kind of be sharp up here. It might get you, but he did the jimping so well all the way up to the top, basically that it just catches your finger. I mean, it just works so well. Now I suck at the finger roll, but like I could try it. I'm just afraid I'm going to cut myself. I'm better at it right handed, I think. There you go. So I can even do that. I don't know if I can do a reach around without um, dropping it. I can't get it. And I will say that did feel a little bit sharp going in like this with the uh, 
reach around. So that might not be the best way unless, you know, you got big old hands and you can just hang it down like this. And I don't know. I suck at it. So take that into consideration. Um, but yeah, I mean, it feels great in hand. The Ergos are just as good as the PE. Um, I love the Swayback. I'm not normally a Swayback guy. And this is a pretty pronounced one, you know. Um, but it works. And it feels very comfortable in hand. Uh, some people don't like this cutout. Um, for me, it's perfect. It just fits my middle finger like a glove. Boom. I'm ready to go. And obviously, it was made to be flicked. So you can reverse flick it left-handed. You can thumb flick it left-handed, thumb flick it right-handed. You can reverse flick it right-handed. You can slow roll it right-handed. You can slow roll it left-handed. You can do the front flip left-handed. You can do the front flip right-handed. You can do the roll around thing that I suck at right-handed. So you got a lot of options here, guys. It's a fun knife. So that's the uh, blacked out tie. This is the stonewash blade with titanium also looks fantastic you got satin hardware on this one i will say on these prototypes the satin ones are a little snappier than the black wash ones not by much but i think it's the coating so easy adjustment in production he can just say that he noticed that and they'll adjust it qsp is the oem and they kick ass um so yeah, you got to really see that just snappy on the deployment. I also pre-ordered this version right here. Um, so that is a good sign. Um, there's a little bit of movement here. But again, prototypes. This one has none, none, none. So just one prototype has a little bit of lash there. And I think that's just an easy adjustment. Again, it's why we do prototypes and then you just tell them what you notice and they take care of it they keep an eye out in production um but yeah this one also feels fantastic so i'm glad i got the two titanium ones um i did think maybe it would have been smarter to get you know this one which is the blue micarta so let's talk about this one real quick this is the blue micarta version look at that it's not denim it's blue micarta. He wanted to do denim, and it just wasn't going to work with his design. I think just the scales are going to be too thin. They could warp, um, and I guess denim has a tendency to do that. I don't know. But this blue looks fantastic, so it's really kind of the same thing. It's just blue canvas. Um, feels great. Uh, again, really snappy on this guy. Um, ah, look at that. I even got it on that one. Um, so, yeah. Really cool. Uh, these do come with a right-hand clip, but when you do the pre-order on his website, or if you go to Urban EC Supply, um, you can get a lefty clip delete. So it's basically a clip delete with a filler tab over here, and then a milled clip, a milled slot to put the clip on the left side. And Jacob is actually doing that himself in his house. So he's going to take the scales off and mill your clip in and put the knife back together so you get like a white glove assembly too which is cool so you know it'll come with good action um i definitely did that on both of mine so yeah um the blue is cool i really like it it definitely is lighter weight and if that's important to you you want to go with the micarta or you have this jade g10 which guys if you've followed my channel at all, you'll know I hate, hate JG10. I really do. Um, but it works here, guys. It really does with the black accents. It works so well to the point where I kind of want one of these. Like, I hate my soul for saying that, but I kind of want one of these. Um, so that is the JG10 version. So those are all four versions you can pre-order at this time. Again, $89 for titanium. I believe 59 for each of these, G10 or Micarta. Um, he will have scales available once they come in. So if you want to get one and, you know, get the scales later, you can do that, of course. Um, but yeah, what I was saying earlier is I kind of wish what I had done is gotten this blue Micarta and then gotten this black wash tie. And that way I could just scale swap and I could do whatever I wanted, right? Um, but what I did was got two titanium ones so i'll only have the option for titanium but that's not true because 
all of the scale sets for the PE will fit the PE too. So I can actually take my fat carbon scales here and I can go ahead and put that on this guy, right? Or this guy I think is going to look absolutely disgusting. Oh, maybe I'll just do that real quick. Prototype shenanigans. I mean, look at that's going to be so nice with the black in there. Oh my goodness. So I'll probably end up with a fat carbon uh pe2 and then a titanium pe maybe we'll see what happens but um yeah just an awesome knife awesome design guys um i mean i have a custom i have a pe i'll definitely have well i'll definitely have two pe2s um so wonderful design and a wonderful person jacob is just a great dude guys um so i highly recommend supporting him if you like the design of course and um these should be delivered around august september and uh the pricing is fantastic um it's oem by qsp so you know you're gonna get quality and um overall just a fantastic project and company so shout out to Chris blade works thank you for sending these out to me man I am going to get these out to you and the other reviewers to check out. So there we go. I love you guys. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know if you picked one up. I uh, am curious to see which version you went with or if you are going to pick one up now. So love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day and I will catch you later.